Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to this part 2 of 3 MK Ultra in Germany mini area. Probably Angela Merkel would disagree with me. Um, I would too if I had more time, but I don't. I am probably gonna spend chanting you about MK Ultra in Germany another four hours. That's about it. It's gonna be part two, three. Not that it couldn't be here part two of, I don't know, 10 or, you know, more than that. No, seriously, it, it's not necessary. Two of three, that should be. Uh, like I said, I know Angela Merkel is gonna disagree with me here right now, uh, but the nature of my situation pursues this whole thing as a little different, like a time emergency because of my almost 27 years that was screw up because of the screw ups. People are actually politicians. Elites are buying time through this stuff. They are delaying, they are bullshitting with nonsense. Uh, and it's why, I'm not saying that in the future I would not, but right now, the primary, of primary importance to me is fucking freedom. I don't plan on doing this shit for the rest of my life, to put it plain and simple. So I hope, all right. Five hours, next five hours is gonna be intense with a lot of MK Ultra proofs, with a stuff nobody's gonna be able to say, you oh, know, or you know, have a second thought, doubts about whether all this stuff I have already provided with, which I know it's more than sufficient, everybody knows, uh, is real or not, you know, including the Camp David and stuff like that. What I can tell you is, when it comes to Stefan, Stefan more or less looks like this French guy, you know. Stefan looks very much like this guy here, the German guy, more or less, that's what it looks like Stefan. He's tall, he's about 190 in centimeters, tall, a very pleasant guy, he's got a dark hair. And the other guy, I don't even know his name, because he wouldn't tell me. But I know we're gonna met, so what? Um, he's just a blonde guy. You know, kind of reminds of someone from up north, from like Hamburg. You know, that area. For which something I was even told, uh, I don't know, that he has a roots from over there or something like that in that sense. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. But what I can tell you is about the Stefan. Right? If we continue from Munich, from this portion of Munich. Okay, since I talk about Munich, maybe I should stop here and at least close a few windows. One is going to be this one here. This is continuation, therefore, this is a part two of three MK Ultra in Germany. In part number one, there was an audio recording where I identified two people involved in MK Ultra, of which one was a long time um, MK Ultra staff member. We are talking about this city here, München, capital Bavaria, southern German state. A very prominent city in the area, uh, not only for Austria and Germany, but also for Czech Republic and Slovenia, of course, Slovakia and others, Switzerland and so on and so forth. This is this is a very very important city with one and a half million people. At this point in time, I am going to click. I'm going to close the window. Uh, and let me see if there's anything else I can concentrate on here, but no, not yet. 
and we'll continue from this area here it's called Echading I already pointed out a few details which included even a pedestrian a lady and right here with a with an envelope in her hand with a file in her hand I told you that I no longer know if she still is employee but she worked her entire life at the local university inside of the administration's office now what kind of a university is this well this is the university of social affairs let me demonstrate to you very very important one actually is what it is this is Eherding. Hochschule, Department of Health and Social Affairs, Zenius University. You see this here? This is the one. This, this here. And she said this is actually going to be deciding about your fate. Okay, decide about my fate in a such a beautiful definition in English language. I will just resort myself professionally to this Chrysler 300 that will be parked right here is what I was told this is actually uh, the outside of this university if you would go to university you would go right through this you see right underneath here and uh, this car what made me actually think because it was kind of foolish a lot of foolish people involved some American goofiest funny people but good people anyways gestured me to be inside in here no 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 it's what I stated this car was to remind me that Americans also moved inside of this university they got space they got a positions inside inside of this German university and I'm going to tell you the year that this happened so negotiations took some time since 99 but I think in 2000 it's safe for me to say we're inside of this university already so they are already uh, their presence can be noted since 2000 you know just to be on a completely perfect side of MK Ultra. I walked and drugged up back and forth this buildings here um, let's see exactly where we are at huh? leaving behind the lady for whom I already have explained worked and works probably still as an assistant inside of the administration uh, behind I am gonna head in the opposite way from what otherwise would be to the center of the mini which will be this way this is the building the last one that was renovated the last one in line of all these old buildings what you see here that was renovated one building like this one only was actually torn down and there was another complex that was like completely new that was erected otherwise is what i'm i was told these buildings and this just happens to be the number one building according to my memory that was renovated this was painted a roof was changed Probably, I believe, sometimes even in what was 
98 maybe something like this um, these buildings belonged there are many like this from what I was told I think I'm pretty sure and including this this was a residential residences of a military personnel if I was not pulled for the nose that's what I was told and there are many 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 down here now the course of the time I don't know what happened to the military personnel whatever when private changed hands whatever they still exist they're part of Munich and so one of the buildings like this however complex like this was taken down maybe even two I would have to go and investigate this area to find whatever this building here just happens to be the best building of all of them this was the best building of all these buildings this was the best building now it states here this was renovation of the place in 2008 pretty much still looks is it used to um with i believe this what you see here this always would be uh as i was walk up the stairs stairways uh it would be like open windows i remember and it would just air would blow through um kind of strange feelings during MK Ultra. I have to go to the opposite side. This here, this stuff that you see here, this things here, like squares. Um, otherwise, you see right there, it looks like windows and stuff like this. I think, but I'm not completely, completely sure that this was done um, or maybe it was actually even original. This was something like really weird, this stuff. But the possibility has it. This was demonstrated. As this was done sometimes in 2008. But 2008 is 30 years back in time. It's a considerable amount of time. But not according to this MK Ultra timing here. Uh, I am on picture. It would actually precede what you see here for a few years even earlier if this was the case that this was done, but I'm not sure. And then I would suggest that this stuff here might have been even done sometimes in, I don't know, maybe even 2003 or something like that, but I'm not sure. Otherwise, um, like I said, this is the last building that they take here, that they took here, they renovated, mainly the flooring the entrance here, the flooring, the pavement, that kind of stuff I understand they played with painted and stuff like that I don't see any kind of significant uh, changes to this building really the entrance area maybe entrance area entrance areas the entrance areas whatever they have done to it The entrance areas, let me see that, the entrance areas, maybe it changed some windows or something like that, but that's about the end of the story for me here when it comes to that. I want to head to the area where Stefan would go. Uh, yeah, that's right. To park his, um, to park his car. No, oh, there are many, many. Like I said, these buildings. This here is sometimes where Stefan would have to go and park his car. Stefan looked like this guy here that you see. Just that this is a smaller version of Stefan. Stefan is a guy with dark hair that looks more or less like this French guy here. Kind of looks the same. He's got a dark hair and it's about 190 in centimeters. About more than 190, about more than 10 centimeters taller than myself. Yeah. 
So that's basically where he would go. Sometimes he would go and look for a parking and I just didn't like that fact because I felt good next to him, kind of safe. I mean, you're drugged up, you're like a child almost. What you see here was probably one of the first things that was done in this part of the mini. And the first thing that was actually done was this parking lot here. This parking lot, they have fixed this parking lot properly. Improvements, they have done the total whatever they have done to it, they really fixed one nicely, cosmetically, whatever, in 1998 already. So this tells me that a very, very important year, 1998 parking lot here, you understand? Then right across here on the other side, that's another parking lot they have done in just about the same year this parking lot 1998 these were the first things that happened not this parking lot there is another parking lot here right next to it that parking lot I would give maybe up to even two years later I would go into year 2000, maybe even, even maybe perhaps 2001. Uh, there was a talk about this kind of stuff here that you see. That's, well, the pass for the pedestrians. Uh, you could take a walk right under the road like this to cross the road safely let's see that a little better yeah there was a talk about how they have done this kind of stuff um to be frank about it i don't remember any of that stuff i am sure you're gonna hear the laptop uh i have to tell you honestly i was told when the tablet comes from China, this is just going to stop. Uh, I was even told that if I would cook food, what's going to happen is they would go and destroy me the laptop uh, on a heartbeat, so I would not have one. Just like this. Um, from the parking lot, all through, I have to say one thing. Look. A little bit of confusion it is here. You see, the Muslim lady, they're gonna put on the picture, that's what I was told, so it's gonna remind you of this thing here. And I'm gonna tell you frankly that when I, when I go to the year 98, and when they famously told me about, yo, if I would only cross to this side here like this, it will not. Okay, what I what I remember in '98 basically is this parking lot that was fixed, and right next to this thing here. For me personally, the only thing that happened here was this thing was done cosmetically. But I was told it was something that something had to do with the Muslim people. There is a Muslim community here. Uh, also about their safety and this and that it's necessary this thing to complete if this thing was ever completed or this tunnel that goes uh, the pedestrian pass that goes right under the road if this thing really was completed this was completed in 98 99 the latest basically when you watch when you see me demonstrating uh, these two parking lots here that you see here if but i don't think it was i don't believe so and for that lady for that this i was told by somebody very prominent whose name i'm not going to mention because it doesn't really matter look 
The gas station was in a possession of Italians all the way up to 2000, 99 actually, something like that. 99, 2000, they changed ownership, the new owners, that's what I think. Well, people from either Uzbekistan or Kazakhstan. It's basically old USSR. Just gotta make sure that this thing is recording. It is, hooray. That would be basically either Uzbekistan or Kazakhstan. That's an old USSR area. And you have Russia up north. Yep, just like this. Um, the gas station was enlarged, modernized. I don't think they're gonna let me come close anywhere somehow. I don't know how this works now. I'm, I'm like in a circle here. I'm never gonna make it out of this one. But this main bureau where they have um, whatever they have inside was increased if i go back and i i have to do that i don't have choice let me say how the if i go back to summarize this this here would i would give you like i said 98 I would give it this here also 98 99 then is the second one and then I would give it this here about two years later that they whatever they have done uh, improve this parking lot parking lot improvements the gas station I already have explained going to important area which for which um, Angela Merkel wanted me definitely just fulfilling basically her expectations right hopefully at least somehow yeah let's see this here then To know where you're going i am gonna stop here this is a charles de gaulle strasse so charles de gaulle was not very popular we had again funny people protesting this stuff i am gonna do this 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 that kind of stuff i'm gonna do this residential stuff i'm gonna do this Stuff that was already done but then again was not done because of a variety of things it's not so easy to fulfill the stuff when they do problems to you one morning I don't know I think it was either 95 or 96 and it was really really early in the morning and uh, I was drugged up and tired, beaten up like you wouldn't believe. Uh, that was a really short sleep. Whatever it was, it was brutal. I was all beaten up running with Angela. Right through here, through this entrance. I knew nothing about where the hell I was heading. This must have been actually 97, I think. It probably was 97, I would say. So I was a little early anyways. I rushed with her. Let's see where exactly. Okay, before we go to that, the first renovation that took place was this building here. This was the renovation number one that took place. And I wouldn't say renovation, I would say modernization of already modernized building. This building was modernized uh, on the lower floors they 
they would do the interior uh, the exterior and the side here very important the side here I am gonna take a screenshot of this thing here and I will demonstrate you so this this is some other stuff that comes to play later on because there's so much the more that I looked into this the more I found myself in trouble then I realized if I'm gonna finish this real fast I'm gonna be that's why I'm gonna be in a real trouble Well, this stuff, this area here, along the side, this is the stuff here that was completely changed. Um, basically added, I think this was a grass or whatever that was. That's what I can tell you. The building number one that was renovated was this one here. The building number two, this is also where school is located. Um, this was actually a real trouble for me. This was a real, real trouble because of Eric Trump, because of um, Junior. Uh, they would as what became clearly it be totally became clear sabotaged Germans per Miller Zeman per Czech and per Kaczynski governments they were ordered to be a dissidents to cause me as many possible troubles so I would not recall or remember anything about what went on in Germany uh, very very similar this thing was to airports where you would have terminals connecting airports and there were at the time one two I don't know how many that they would make this kind of improvements at the time and they would use the opportunity to confused me on this issue, suggesting me, insisting me uh, also that this is the stuff that was uh, added here, that this was newly, that was, this was all new construction and stuff like that. This was a real fucking problem having these people along. Sometimes in, uh, I asked many times I asked them many, many, many times. I asked them many times to please stop, uh, keep them away from me. But it appears the German government, they, was, they were just too, I did not understand who these people were. These are sons from Donald Trump. Uh, and Donald Trump used me like a slave for his business, basically. He made money from me. That's how he built his wealth, through me. Having me around gave him the access to governments, all the European governments, and even intercontinental connections to China. Through the Germany, we supplied with the top technology, and then with the China. <coughs> Excuse me. China was a manufacturing facility for Trump that's all there was that's how Trump made money and Trump made way more money than what is declared on the internet with two two and a half billion dollars for which even he's filing like bankruptcy and stuff like that he's got way more money than that this is a theft boy like no other in the US history this here is what you see a bike house the bike house next to the oldest store this the name of the store which is covered like this that's not nice I don't know why you would cover the store is Neto this actually is Italian store oh yeah that really really sucks 
Um, yes, maybe I get lucky, so I take a picture of it. No, I don't. Stupid, what a stupid stuff. But right, this store is right here, outside. Um, right in front of this bike house, which was also renovated, modernized, beautified. Um, to me, it was not really appealing in particular. For me, this was not really appealing, but they did painted one, uh, they improved um, the pavement, the pavement and everything they did, that kind of stuff they did sometimes, like in. Yeah. I don't know, I estimate that the improvement took place here of this thing. Well, I would say about 99, I would go like for 99, you know. I would say fair year for this would be year 99. They also have done improvement here of this store, 99-2000, which unfortunately I cannot see it as you see, the Google censors this. I don't know what the obsession is about this here, but that's a reality. It was right here sometimes in 98 that German government noted a big fight between me and Trump Jr. I mean I couldn't fucking have him on my back anymore. I asked German government afterwards to just get rid of me. To just I asked them to actually go and block him access to Germany. Because this guy was fucking obnoxiously idiotic, problematic, liar, everything they told me he distorted. He would just walk next to me and light and light and light. It became clear that it was this hatred, this envy more than anything, Czech envy, uh, that was just growing with more they had in their hands, with more deals they got through me, literally. The more money they earned, the more they profit through this case, the more they lied, the more violent they were becoming. Finally, sometimes in 99, this Polish-Czech violence became so desperate, it became so uh, obnoxious even maybe to German government that they no longer wanted to handle my case and unfortunately for me they surrendered me in the hands of what I just stated right now it's when things went from worse to the worse the beatings abuse everything <laughs> went even into a higher and higher gear uh, there was nothing in Poland other than beatings, abuse. Something that was designed, uh, architected, also for the sake of 9-11. September 11 of 2001. I alone would suggest that this thing was truly added as a feature to this building if I wouldn't recall this information here 
this is what if we zoom from above and just as I previously have suggested this is a uh, Hochschule Fresenius um, University Department of Health and Social Affairs uh, it would look like that there was uh, actually a possibility that you would just add this uh, to this building here you know uh, and to this complex right here and that you would extend this but the thing about it was that inside of the classroom of this so-called Ludwig Fresenius Schul this school here this is another shoulder now if I zoom myself out I recalled a room inside in my memory it was inside uh, the rooms where I was where I would go to inside they obtained the contract for this Ludwig Fresenius Schulen sometimes in 2001 so that's since Ludwig Fresenius Schulen is but Hochschule Fresenius this department of uh, health and social affairs this always existed here this is old just as I stated sometimes in 2000 they would also get Americans uh, as a teachers as a as a professors I don't know department inside of this thing here this here is the area that was that will be the second one and the renovation would go from this toward that direction right there uh, they will go building by building by building by building by building at one point in time this whole building I was told two buildings or whatever the case was it belongs to the state it was uh, I don't know it still is for the protection of the women something like this social something like that whatever they had inside but then they decided to reduce the size of this uh, project for the women uh, whatever was state owed inside and they turned this into buildings where they would uh, the private businesses would settle in but I have to tell you like this I have to tell you like this the oldest tenant in this building here let's go here is this lady here no that's a mistake let's see, let's see if I'm gonna find that it's a dentist yes Christian uh, Brita yeah uh, well am I gonna get some picture or something of her oh, let me see that she moved inside here probably well I think if we came here like in 97 she was here two years before we came I know that so if we came here 95 and then she was here since 93 Two years before we came this is the oldest tenant of all the tenants uh, this was like the one that persisted here more than longer than anybody else and actually I understand even had a crush on me this is she
I think. At least I think that this is she. But, you know, I was just not the one. And so then one Minhener guy took care of that. So I think that's that. Okay, I think this, this here, this is this. So, ever since, she's still here. Oh. Yes, I know every one of these tenants inside of these buildings. Since the beginning of the time. This is a fine hill for Munhan. This is what I suggested earlier. Help for the females. For the abuse against the abuse for the ladies. In this Charles de Gorstrasse 4. They used to have, I think, entire building. And then there was another tenant, very stable, that I can not see here in the picture quite. But I remember it was here. Yeah, but I don't see it anymore. Oh, that's strange. And that was actually... They occupied a quite... A, big portion of this building that was an insurance agency some kind of insurance agency uh, wait a minute where were they oh this thing is just jumping back and forth okay the engines then you know that i don't know was it here but i know that they would have like one floor and then some other offices down below they were very big, this insurance agency, whatever this was. I think this is what it was. But this... Here, uh, uh, for the Frauen, this was the whole building once. I don't know. They reduced whatever. State financed. Just let's go back. So this was the building in a sequence. It would go like this, right? And I did not start this and this properly here with this stuff here. Um, the proper way for me would be actually to even go and do this building. It's not only this um, university department. The proper way would be for me to present you with this here. If you go inside this. Okay, let's do it. If you would go inside in here, this thing here. Then you would get behind the corner, you would get this thing here. This is a bike shop. The bike shop. The bike shop is like this. You see the pavement I'm going to take. A little screenshot here and I will do like this zoom myself again inside this pavement that's the kind of stuff this this is what was done in 96 this this stuff this here there was a big 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 ass work uh, they also have thrown this out here. Uh, they, they fixed cosmetically this place. It's also the interior they have fixed. A little bit I'm going to demonstrate to you. This shop, this bike shop, this is the oldest one. The oldest business here. And they did good enough to actually even obtain store number two. Which is this one here. This one was some kind of a food shop, whatever, that went bankrupt. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe 2000, something like that. Actually, no, quite soon. You know, I would say like 98, 99, something like this, and they grabbed this one here too. So this bike shop was quite voracious, they quite managed somehow 
to survive in this not such a easy stuff environment then there was another food shop also that moved the next door it's too bad right but you know um that's basically what i can see you see this is this is what i get to see you know and i have to see this what is this bacon and so on and so forth becker and this and that um uh, they're still there this is actually i estimate they're here this becker um The Becker I hear is, um, I don't know. Damn it, I was thinking that that's the shop that no longer is there. But now I see when, when the hell was this thing taking this. January 2000. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, man, I was pretty sure that this Becker I was gone and there was another but wait a minute the becker i was doing okay they were doing okay they were they were selling really expensive stuff let me see this rothschild becker i aha uh -huh, okay no 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 no. it's okay one shop whatever that was was gone and then this one here this one somehow persisted I don't know the bike shop I know gained one more store it expanded itself uh, the bike shop expanded itself sometimes in 98 something like that um, and I was sure that this year this would be then this is a store that actually survived this this one here this would come this one came here sometimes in 98 just like this this i would give like 98 they came here let's go back to this thing here from here for minhan i did broke this thing down this always was here since probably the beginning of this building I did the dentist here, the lady. The insurance, some kind of insurance agency, as I stated. Then you have here what is known as a micro consulting, micro electronics. Well, this man, wonderful guy, was the last one that got tired of me. Uh, this is the original man. Uh, always was smiling. A beautiful beautiful man like the second oldest tenant um, just I don't know what he was he would be doing but he always was busy he would do the consultation whatever computers whatever that kind of stuff just a really wonderful person um, I think he figured out that I was completely crazy during MK Ultra, and he didn't pay too much attention to it. Um, he didn't eventually did not kick me. Uh, everybody did, but maybe he did at the end. I don't know. If I did, I don't even want to remember he did. Um, he started like really small, and uh, stubborn somehow did survive, and then even increased offices which was really really impressive to this american philosopher psychologist professor uh, psychologist daniel smith uh, yeah this guy i kind of miss him and uh, well he started later than this dentist he did but this would be really old tenant here 
so I don't know if the dentist let's suppose started in yeah I tell you what I don't know 93 is something I am this would be the guy that just started let's say when we came here so let's say just 96 95 96 something like this I'm gonna say surprisingly long and over the course of the time uh, have even acquired another um, I don't know two three classrooms or something like that he expanded and he expanded like this sometimes like in year of lure 2001 I would say something like that okay so let's go back this is the direction the renovation would take place you understand this toward here toward here toward here ah uh, yeah uh the eric engineer insisted that these were new buildings built the new buildings erected all kinds of stupid shit you possibly can imagine completely insane here that I would be completely stupid if I wouldn't remember recall and this the truth is that you can't see this but I can tell you that outside right outside here it's a decorated this kind of stuff they did a lot of this kind of they changed they made an improvement of this thing here the exterior was like really uh, modernized with this with the elements like this with they would do stuff like this like modern cubes and stuff like that uh it it was the modernization of the side of the building and entrance and stuff like that that kind of stuff took place as the last this building was not newly erected as I was brainwashed uh, this building was renovated after this was renovated after this entrance was renovated now let me see this yeah you can't see this here this building here was renovated now this would go already I estimate like into the year of 2004 I would say you know so you have the renovation going over the course of the time and finally you would have here also I, I, I estimate in 2004 2003 2004 you would have this here that you cannot even see it but I realized that you can actually see it here from the street from the side you can actually when you exit out like this you can see it um it's left this side ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna go out like this boom zoom myself out okay now I am going to go ahead and do this, this, do this, this, this. Yeah, it's this kind of stuff here that you see. This. It's this kind of stuff. This, this here, however, I think that was added. These are the features they did add, I think. To the building that is the kind of stuff they did that uh, let me let me see this I am going to move myself out a little bit okay uh, there is a variety of businesses that I suggested already earlier here anywhere from Wimperverlängerung to Zack Cafe Taxi Shaibal um, Shaibal Tomanes Computers 
Comics, Chain Bus Entertainment. Wir kaufen ihr Auto, Car Dealer. Now, I'm gonna tell you like this. This building was renovated sometimes in 2000. It was a rum pom pom here. Some of the tenants left. This building before this, mainly from what I understand, before 1995, was only a residential building. I don't know how much this is real information. That's what I understood under MKO Trail was stored. Wimper Verlangerung was here. Well, it's hard for me to notice since when, what, this and that. When one of these businesses would move in and would move out. But the businesses here that you see here, Wimper Verlangerung of all these businesses, maybe this place here, Zack Cafe, this is the oldest one. I checked the Zack Cafe. The Zack Cafe would go definitely in year 1995. Zack Cafe is very interesting. This here outside, uh, they have expanded outside area. Um, I would eventually have to go there to see it. Like this, I cannot tell. Outside, however, they have expanded the area probably. It was always uh, this interesting um, we made this kind of element in the rear of this uh, property they had. This was like this. But um, the thing about this Zak Cafe is that they expanded, I think, like in year 2000 to even bigger. This would be like the first tenant here. If you would say like 1995, I would say this were the first tenants here would be Zak Cafe. This is the number one thing I would tell you. Uh, the second one, I would say that I like that actually would be kind of at the same time would be this here this uh, chain bus commis this located on I don't know what floor it's quite interesting when you go inside they do comics cartoons I don't know what they do um, I can give a pretty close description of what exactly that looks like inside there's some kind of door, like a waiting room and stuff like that. Kind of strange. Um, these people, yeah, these people would also go back in time. <laughs> How long would they go back in time? Well, I would give them, according to my count, I would say like, I don't know, again, 98, I would say. That's what I would give them. Then you have this here, Tomanes computer. The com Tomanes computer was very uh, quiet uh, guy that would do something with the computers. Uh, actually, everybody wondered if he's going to stay alive, if he's going to survive in this and that. Uh, he did. Believe it or not, he did. He's got some service for the computers, whatever he's doing. Very nice people too. Um, how far back in time I would go with the Tomanes computers? Uh, he was like very active at the beginning. About the same time like this. You know, I would go with the Tomanes computers, I don't know. Very old tenant too, very difficult for me to tell, like 99 maybe I would say, something like this, I don't know. Taxi Shebal. Taxi Shebal 
very old tenant too this again just like those comics and stuff like that again i don't know the same thing again i would go to let's say 98 something like this 98 97 98 i did the zack cafe and then you have wimper verlängerung uh wimper verlängerung the same thing 97 98 i don't know something like this then you have here chain bus comics i did you have the last one here via kaufen auto ear auto whatever tra 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 in a little bit i'm gonna get to that uh that's again old a customer here an old tenant is what it is who used to have his own shop then he would move here when exactly that would be all right for the previous people that i have stated i would say that they were here before this guy but so this guy also was quite early on here this guy would go to like 98 so think about this guy's here like 97 96 with the first one here being Zuck Cafe. Something like this you would go. These are old tenants. Uh, there were businesses here, I understand, that left between prior and after this renovation is what American psychologist told me. That's what he told me. Okay. That's what he told me. This guy here will Kaufen uh, Ear Auto. This guy, I knew him since 1995. Then three years on, he moved here. He opened also office here. He originally would go into, let me demonstrate to you this here. Oh, and I see that there is quite a lot of more stuff that I have to do. I haven't done this here. I'm going to close now. Close. Wish I like doing this stuff. This area here. Uh, don't get confused. This is on the other side of the overpass. He was either here in this center here he would do some kind of business with buying and selling cars could eventually even be associated with guy this guy here uh, this became like a Kia something like this uh, in a little bit I'm gonna demonstrate to you all this series what I'm gonna do MK Ultron Kia yeah became kia uh, it could be some kind of partner of his that's a possibility that he had and then there is this last what i think also chance because this was also one of the oldest areas i outside of the mini ring just like this is this place here down buckner electronic um i don't know it's very possible that this area here might have been the area not that one but right there behind there was some businesses too that he might have but now nah, i think most likely that this guy this vehicle auto your auto i think that his partner was actually the guy that i already have pointed you at uh, that this here this here was actually his partner listen I told you something a little about uh, Stefan I want to close the deal about his partner 
Stefan Zoy was confirmed me, finished university, became a teacher at university, and I told you most likely he's teaching some kind of social sciences, so I would rather say history, something like this. That's what he does at university. But his partner, his blonde guy, his partner is electronic. He is electronic and his profession, from what I can recall, he said to me, I'm never gonna find him where he worked at. Uh, I remember his workplace though. His workplace was like um, some kind of a high-tech electronic stuff electronic or uh, he probably completed for the engineer something equivalent to an engineer is more than just a technician I would say this guy he is a high-tech who used to work at a company is something like in my opinion according to my view maybe even what look like uh, something like Siemens I, a little earlier I had this company that I was suspicious about the most that most likely uh, was he was employed at but yeah Yeah, I remember him uh, sitting at some kind of table and doing uh, some kind of measurements and stuff like that. Not to be confused, to confuse with this guy here to whom I'm also going to get to with this kind of stuff. This guy, what this guy is doing, this guy is doing like also some kind of sophisticated stuff but not as sophisticated stuff as this guy, this electronica would do. Okay, let me demonstrate you something. After some time, this blonde guy, this partner of Stefan, I think eventually got the job here. Mason start and Vida. Mason buy and Vida, that's from Bund und Länder Ausgesprochen, ein Verbot von Großveranstaltungen gilt ausdrücklich nicht für Messen. This here is some kind of conference. What I think, I think they told me something about having two conferences, some kind of two important conferences in Munich. Exhibitions is what I would refer to as. And I think this is what it is. And I think so, because one time, just got to make sure this thing is recording. I'm going to do this like this. One time he had a boot like this, meaning that he was promoted from this work inside of the factory into exhibition boots. It appeared to me as if he would work under something with a Panasonic or something like that. I don't think he did work for Panasonic. In uh, that boot, however, I think he did. Um, whenever they organized these exhibitions, I think this guy became representative exhibitioner for the companies, for the this electronic or IT kind of companies, where the companies from domestic and abroad would go to demonstrate the products for sale. So this is the kind of stuff we are talking about, these are the exhibitions, this. I guess if you wouldn't have your own representatives, I guess that you would go and hire someone like this guy. That's why I actually believe that he had something to do with that other 
uh, what I I don't even know what it is. I think it's like a exhibition, just a place where you would go and exhibit your products. Um, so this is what this blonde guy became, earning I think quite a decent salary. But other than that, let me see if I can see something like that. I don't see anything where he would work. I remember him like yeah this 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 here is interesting one like a Siemens it's like there was like a company something like this like a big ass company that he was in some kind of big ass corporation and inside they would have whatever they were doing he did not even work in this kind of machines according to my knowledge he worked on some kind of more high-tech stuff something that I'm not gonna say that would replicate let's say this guy uh, but he wasn't too far from this guy whom I also know now you're gonna say boy what the hell are you talking about now are yeah, you insane eh? let me tell you something eh? I expressed doubts about the German woman a long time ago already in 97 I wanted to challenge Angela about how this she's doing this thing because I didn't deem this thing was fair because let me explain something Angela had a plan one time and the plan was I guess to impress me with a technical knowledge and that I would impress her and the world with the revelation of MK Ultra. now I became increasingly frozen man uh, as she would take me to these different locations and literally pay tremendous knowledge to this this type of machines this these are the machines used for the production of electronic uh, equipment for which high precision is necessary this guy Mario Stepanescu involved 21 years ago uh, he joined the company then they opened this also in Romania this girl here the Shirley uh, Segev director of marketing this one is Israeli they have company also in Israel I was also in Israel According to Angela, I should all do all this stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I will never finish this. She became interested in this stuff. Angela. Uh, you don't know everything about Angela. She's uh, by profession. You can see her resume. It doesn't have anything to do with the technical, like with the stuff like this is in completely different area it's much of her resume is not even fulfilled became technically immaculate in electronic background understood how this things what is this use how it functions um became dissatisfied not only um with me of course but also with the people that will come for a state visits from India from other also Slovenia and so on the Slovenia was not so bad but some countries were really bad uh, they would know nothing 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 of course the politicians don't know shit about this kind of stuff so mr. Modi Prime Minister of India brought a man from India uh, who was very enthusiastic young man into electronics into this thing and became also filthy wealthy in India because of this very grateful to me and so on 
one of the wealthiest Indian people too in India. I yet have to touch that issue. She became dissatisfied because she became basically a salesman. When these stale people would pay visits, she wanted to sell them these products, these high-tech products. Uh, I, on the other hand, I felt that when she would take me to these different parks businesses, and I thought this is insane. I thought this, this I, I didn't understand the concept. And when I did ask about what, what exactly, how, and I did so twice, you know, or maybe three times, how, I told her, how am I going to even know the addresses, Angela, about these businesses? How, what do you mean by this? I was troubled. I was so tormented. I suffered under MK Ultra. I said, Angela, how am I going to know these addresses about these businesses? It was always, do you have a question at the end, at the total end? And this was the question, the, before they opened the door. Uh, and one time, even when I was already outside, she said, uh, you will know, you will, just look, you will just look at the Google. You will just look at the Google and you will know. Uh, I have never heard anything so stupid. It might have been not so stupid, but so horrific. It was like I would be talking to a nightmare during a sleep, literally. Uh, hell, I had no intention in going about MK Ultra, man, in another country, in another place, without even knowing these addresses, without knowing. I was so horrified to even think about doing something like this. Uh, that I would simply not touch the subject for so many years. Um, I was gonna uh, have a face-off with the Angela, but I don't think I did. Not even in 98. Three times, she just escaped, disappeared every time before I would uh, confront her about these issues. Um, this machines, this is just used to make the high precision elements necessary uh, in electronic that otherwise might not even be possible to create or might take much longer than needed amount of time one of the first companies that got a hold of this in southern part of germany was this company here they became trusted enough and in 1995 I yet have to see this but they are located here yeah they pro this probably is this here is it um, this is this company here what is it this is this is electronic car yeah yeah this one Car electronic, give me electronic, this one. This was maybe the first one, maybe even in Munich or something like this, in 95. This was, this machines, you see these machines. Well, this was a top secret. The Germans, the German government would guard this more than, they would invest in security of those more than I think than in their military. It was more secret than the than military, this. This was like a golden hole. This was a main. Uh, they had this concentrated in like a center and north, further north, Frankfurt north of the Germany. Guarded as hell. They kept that as close to possible, uh, confidential as possible, away from anybody. Uh, this was the most secret and secret to the German government. They were not, I think, even for sale back then yet. This was in '95, and this this company, Kara, 
this was like the first I think maybe even in München that got this even this I remember I well, we would go to businesses these business people would cry Angela Bita please how this machine and this and that and they, they would go crazy about this well the majority businesses before they would get what you have seen right there like the next one you would take maybe another three years maybe 98 maybe it would be another business somewhere in the area of Minish that would get something like this that would be his turn and then maybe yet again another one and then all of a sudden they opened this for the market broader broader area wider production what they made it more accessible to more uh, companies people and so on businesses this is this is the way this is the way this thing went so this i can tell you a little bit i'm going to tell you maybe more than in continuation about this guy and so on but now what about this guy here that you have seen this guy that i'm going to close this down um not done yet quite with this one here this here this company here i'm just gonna do this like really really fast 2004 grounding this einzel unternehmens engineer bureau bnng well let me explain to you something yes in 2004 because the father the father the papa closed the company down so yeah you go and you google this yeah sebastian you google electronic production in google you put this in german language and then it spits you uh the stuff out uh yes in 2004 the father decided no more in 2002 something like this father owner of this company in munich closed the company down it did not it didn't work it didn't work but his name was a kit wilson kit wilson was a british guy involved in mk ultra a british mk ultra staff member this is quite crazy isn't it Minich. Minich. Now I'm going to enter this. Ay ay. Um, let's just go. VNG. And we're going to do this here. And you're going to see this thing here. This is quite far from Munich. This is going up north from Munich. But also not so far. What is it like? 20. Uh, I don't know, 40, 60, something, 80, whatever. <coughs> uh, Kit Wilson, right? That's his name, Will Mr. Wilson, all right? He came from a broader London area. Actually, he would trace into about area of this place here somewhere. Uh, Basingstoke, Stoke. Guildford's Winchester something like this has a home with mom um, that's just one story home in a nice residential area British and connected with a Buckingham Palace I told you I don't know was it William uh, as a matter of fact excuse me was it uh, Charles or Andrew the young kids already were very active uh, young kids act like a couriers and they knew like a hoax uh, they relate the news to their parents and parents knew connections they had people they asked and before you know it would be advice and this and that so Wilson okay let's go back to this thing here We're gonna do this thing here. And uh, this. And 
No. Let's see, that's not. Okay, see if I have to do that to the leg. Yeah. Electronic fiat gong, okay, and I'm gonna put this here in Munich. Okay, electronic fiat gong in Munich. This is how I get this, because I know almost, probably I know every one of them. It's not about almost. Uh, we're gonna do this thing here. I'm gonna do one more time this, and I'm gonna take a picture. This is, this is, that's why I'm not gonna do this all my life. No way I'm doing this. I'm doing this and that's it. It's actually not even showing me the thing. Okay. Here is the theme. Here is my theme. There you go. What do you see here? Okay, let me demonstrate you what you see here. Here's what you see here. Boom. Here you see, according to my knowledge, according to my memory, you actually have in front of you family. You have like three sisters. Or maybe there is some brother with uh, with their wife or whatever. But I'm gonna tell you what. Whether these are sisters, whether they are, they work together as a secretaries, it was one by one that was taken in front of my eyes, married. Uh, in '95 it was one I was in love with. Uh, it didn't go through, then it was another one, and the last one was this one here from the kid from England that took away. So this here probably is a father here, I would say. Family business which have eventually fallen apart. Financially did not work out, this electronic did not go well. They were located in Munich. Kit went to England. In meanwhile, he got to know Karen. And with the help of Buckingham Palace, uh, he got a powerful connection. And uh, he started the company. Yeah, this is literally a real history. It's not the real history is not even written there. Oh, Uber guns. Yeah. <laughs> Geschichte. I restarted the company. Uh, I don't know if it's open under the same name. Is it not open under the same name? Uh, but here it is. This is the owner. Geschäftsführer is also the name. That's also a German owner. His name is Keith Wilson. And his wife, the last one that did not marry me, that was a Cornelia Winslow. I think the two got married. <laughs> Probably, I would say. I don't know. He decided that he's gonna marry one Fräulein in Germany. Was this guy actually in Poland? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, maybe he was in Poland. It is possible. Uh, that he was in a Hunger Games, that he did participate it. Uh, but I'm not sure, not everybody did, not everybody got hurt. Buckingham Palace, in fact, was concerned for their people. They even told them to fake so they wouldn't get hurt. Yeah, and I today, I approve this. I approve because folks, I don't see any kind of Polish way, I don't see it this way, I don't understand any of that kind of stuff. That's to me personally plain sick. So if the people did fake more power to you, thanks God you did not, you didn't get hurt. Uh, you should, uh, William Harry told me this so effed up that they thought 
some of them to even not only they instructed them how to avoid this stuff at all costs but they told them to even fake to get away with it and they did and i understand got away with it and thanks god you did it man thanks god you did thanks god you were not so stupid to become crippled with this polish bullshit eventually got married with this girl and i think yes i think sometimes in there was another area outside of the mini another park they started but i think that with the kid we traveled with a car probably already i estimate like in 2002 that this was already quite ready this uh they bought this land and they they, they made a new construction for this company and they started the new business that's that basically that's the story of this company i told you folks that this is angela told me she said she said to me you're gonna find them like this electronic vertigo munich like this and you're gonna go from one to another from one to another and i want you to do the parks and i don't know what and right there we have seen this the Israeli girl and where you have seen the other girl I should just go and jump by the way also in Israel and do MK Ultra over there and another company that connected from India you should just jump over there and do uh, one over there and so on and so forth um yep but I think uh, once I'm done I would be like past uh, past 80 uh, I'm 50 already and I think uh, that's okay I'm gonna pass on that this man here this gentleman here uh, this is the old worker here in this in this uh, as I demonstrated in this place here this is a uh, and this is this this man is old worker here this guy but he's not the oldest the oldest one uh, was an, uh, uh, one more guy that was older uh, but this is one of the oldest this one and another guy but I'm not even sure the other guy is still uh, when was this thing written 2020 no 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 uh, this is this is this one came later on um one of the oldest yeah sure this man the, the one you see right there this this guy came to work to this location here yeah i would say this guy came to work I might be even actually son of the owner maybe something like this in that sense i don't know i would give him probably like 98 something like this do you know why i know about this guy here yeah there were three other guys involved also in mk ultra um i'm gonna return to that issue that's good one yeah uh, let me see this here I don't get this. Uh, there were three other guys that were involved you know, in, 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 in MK Ultra, you know, and I just mean to do this. Right here in Munich, uh, those, those are the earliest. They were involved even earlier than, um, than what Stefan and his friend were involved and so uh, one guy his first job yeah you know, I, I don't even know what happened with him with this poor guy yeah he became he got like a three-year school for the electrician something like that and the first job he got was uh, the job i demonstrated you yeah that was his first work was with this guy here 
with this man here this was his first work in this place then uh, maybe like two years later he got a job somewhere that looked like more or less like a Siemens or something like that that was a promotion better paid job so yeah before before Stefan Stefan became involved in this case in 2002 something like this he would occasionally be there here and there but in 2002 really and in 2004 um, Angela deputized him to be a boss became a permanent mission also for everywhere from Germany he became number one um, you know, all these people I know them they know me um, basically if I was doing MAMK Ultra here I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you like this look I'm just gonna go zzzz, like this and I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you like this tick tick, tick. what you see here this thing here the first improvement a change here that some have figured out shouldn't even be here 98 this thing here you see this barrack right there the yellow one that you have seen right there look you see this you see this lot here this lot was not lot it was like a this like a grass um <laughs> then the first thing that happened was it was the guy did something he would go like like he would have a valet parking and he would park the cars here this is how it looked like then it was a grass he would park on the grass literally then he would put this thing here that that would determine that this is like you know something he's basically and finally fix this thing here that that he did this like with a with placing this thing here like like the stones this so that he would park the cars on you know well you are talking about when it comes to this parking lot here you are talking about probably I estimate you're talking about like you know yeah I I wouldn't go less than 2001 yeah, this was quite late actually 2001 2002 is when finally this parking lot was fixed the way you see it now you know finally you know with the idiots like Eric and Junior, um, I would say to you right now that what you see here, all this, was added to the rest of the building. That's what they incited me. That's why I didn't like this worms to be next to me. I don't like them. Now. I do anticipate, really do, that um, what is this thing here? This here, this was electronic business here. This was a production of electronic business. You talk about 95, 96, um, 97. There will be like a little factories, like electronic production here. Uh, they would be here. Um, then they move out to another location they closed down what they did was the renovation when he took the renovation they did I don't know yeah they did here the doors this here cosmetically what you see here they did improve uh, I am gonna take like a like this again like screenshot and I'm gonna do it like this we're gonna do it like this I'm gonna zoom and I want to be really specific about this what exactly have they changed here yeah 
according to uh, my views, what they changed, what I can tell you is this here, this like this kind of stuff that looks more presentable here that you see that's the improvement the front door that kind of stuff they did change um other than that um probably inside i would have to see the inside other than that uh, basically nothing really the parking lot everything was the way it the way you see it now um, the possibility exists for this here the site uh, that they make this pavement of the parking lot here but I don't think even that stuff was actually changed outside here the possibility exists that they did pave this lot here um, It was just nothing more than cosmetical stuff. Uh, maybe even these pillars here that you see, maybe they make them look more appealing with something that they, they maybe something in that sense, but I don't even think so. I think this was all the way it was. That's all there is. Nothing much. how the building appeared here according to my estimation sometimes in 2002 this here that you see Audi ah not the building no the building all this building all this building always was here they just didn't know what to do with it this Audi signs and stuff like this whatever they this remodeling and stuff like this 2002 goes the business Audi in there I wouldn't even lose time with this stuff here. It's more important for me to know this stuff here. Right here, and I'm going to take a screenshot of this thing here. It's going to look like this. Zoom myself a little out. Make this in. Yeah, I think like on a second floor, third floor, I don't know. But here, like this. If not this here, I don't know. This used to be an employment office, state employment, as people would come, I think, to search for the jobs here. Yep. Uh, in fact, this building this building have gone under a big time big ass renovation uh, exterior renovation modernization the lower portion of the building this the lower stuff uh, they 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 dress like they made it more appealing they dress that in the glass and and stuff like this this kind of stuff is what they did and the front entrance but it told me actually it's only the front entrance here it is but i wouldn't agree with this because it it, it looked far more appealing uh here is a kia they got the kia inside and stuff like that they rented to the kia the kia moved inside here according to my numbers yeah i would say like sometimes in 2001 i think and the building itself might have been probably most likely renovated like in 99 so yeah i give it 2000 2001 for the kia yep that's the way that goes um on the other side too now there is something i i really didn't figure out 
Uh, and I really don't know. Like I said, I had a real heavy duty assholes with me. And also a bunch of people that would not know what went on. And then George Bush decided that, and George Bush was big in Germany, he had a lot to say, that it should be the same rule like at a Camp David. It would be asked so that I would tell what exactly I remember and what not. Uh, but don't tell. And that's what Angela actually took. She was quite disappointed with that Polish situation. Um, she totally, totally complied with the Polish situation. This is just her way of doing things. And it's I think regretful that in Germany everything is for sale. At least it was for sale, as long as they were able to sell. Sell it. Trust me, they won't sell this anymore ever again. Because here nothing is theirs. I was told, in fact, that this thing here was added to the building, like in '99, something like this. I disagree, but I will tell you that. After a thorough renovation of the building behind that you see, um, what did they paint it? And um, I don't know. They did. They, they they might have done this metal things wherever they did that kind of stuff. They made it more appealing. Uh, they also renovated this one here. They they also did painted this thing here. They also whatever they did all right um as far as the businesses i understand they're still the same businesses as they always were nothing really ever changed here uh actually that something did in fact change something yeah that that it did changed and but you know these are all odd businesses i would be honest with you i wouldn't even be able to I um, I would have a great difficulty to tell uh, the electronic business guy. He was here since from forever. Angela Merkel said that the oldest one of the mall is this here, this Seco sign. She wouldn't go here anymore to this other businesses, but the Seco sign she would. They would uh, do the propaganda, the, they would print the propaganda paper advertisement and she would continue to use this to advertise the stores. Uh, she was like a little uh, Trump in Germany. And I was told, when you see the politician doing stuff like this, you should already know that's going to be, that you're going to see one in coming years becoming something like prime minister or something like that yeah that was angela merkel before she become she became what she became officially but everybody was afraid of angela already before except myself of course but even myself i lost school boy i tell you really um with the answers that she gave me that she left me like this walking in the dark um I felt like I'm communicating with a nightmare, literally in the sleep, you know, uh, and it was quite unpleasant to walk sometimes from some crazy locations in the mornings with some dude random next to me, uh, melting in my head questions that were just semi-answered and so on somewhere. Um, this here renovated. Uh, basically cleaned up and that kind of stuff yeah sometimes in 2000 something like that 
uh, that I had this idiots I like junior and stuff talking to me about how they build the parking lot and stuff like this this is just their imagination this here that I should be able to tell everything about the businesses yeah I should I should that's true that's true but you know what I don't have a time I, I would prefer to do this over there in person I did whatever I should um, the entrance 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 is what it was the rear I pointed out they painted it that kind of stuff yeah when we came first here I don't think it was like this you see this I don't think it was like this I don't think that this is what it was like this this place when I came here like in 95 in 96 this place sucked when I came here in 95 96 that's what they also used unconscious person so he would give an impression how he feels in the environment this place you you hear this train this um it would give me an impression uh, you see this is like a garbage boxes here the, the whole thing was something like this like a dumpsters um it, it was very very shitty in my opinion it did not bring me a good wife drugged up walking around um uh, some place like this this is what was like the best looking that still hangs around here but other than that they removed they painted bright they changed uh, so it looks like positive so it doesn't look like a dumpster like before uh, I really was not happy about coming here now sometimes in well Burger King you see here we have a Burger King too now is what I was told probably I estimate sometimes in yeah but you know what I would give you more than 2002 for the Burger King 2002 is what I give you for the Burger King yeah and you know that kind of stuff there was no Burger King there was nothing it was just as I have explained um, they just made it more appealing so that it would somehow you know for the drugged up person it's not exactly a happy day okay this is nice here all these bicycles and all this this is acceptable you know here is open you can go through it wasn't like this before you know before it was like I don't know like this like a little jungle across with the dumpsters that kind of stuff uh, that stuff was not even pleasant to go by really dirty I don't know in that sense so they fixed it this good it looks much better uh, what is inside of the employment office where it used to be I have no idea for this building here in the rear where the employment office I think it was I think on the second third floor um, look you know, I don't want to say that it was Angela Merkel I don't want to say it was a George Bush but it was the people they insisted me the whole building was built new in 1999 that is a bunch of horse shit um, I'm very very unsatisfied with that kind of attitude and this was in the Germany the building renovation took place here first from this side here did you see here and it go toward this direction with what I have demonstrated completed as the last and 
the most important part is what I already explained, that's basically the engines. The possibility even has it that this thing here that you see here, this was added to the building, like cosmetically with this MGS. whatever this sign would just into this thing here that this might have been added this might be com cosmetic improvement that contributed to the overall look of the building yeah that's what i was told is this true i don't know i don't know if they did go to as far as this here i i even doubt that is there a possibility yeah it's a possibility regardless of it it started here and it went toward this direction and no this is not a new building they did not build one in uh 99 and stuff like that they started the renovation here did you see on that side of the building sometimes i think in my opinion like in 98 yeah and then it went in this direction here with having this here completed like maybe 2000 something like this 